In this video we are going to talk about the 5 books richest people read that changed my life. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to this channel for future updates. For as long as I can remember I've had a passion for reading. My mother is a voracious reader and when we grew up, there were always stacks of books around us as well as frequent trips to the library. Since moving to Canada 14 years ago, my reading list has grown to include a variety of books on personal and professional growth as well as fiction. I'm not sure why those books weren't on my reading list, before it could be my age or it could be that, there seems to be something profoundly rooted in English culture that allows you to enjoy your station in life and discourages you from wanting to be anything more. It's difficult to say that without sounding dismissive of my roots, and I don't want anyone to mistake me for anything other than a proud British citizen. However I believe that a significant part of anyone's personal journey is, to test everything they've ever accepted as fact with an open mind to see if it's true. This is valid for finances as much as, it is for every other aspect of our lives so over the next few weeks, I'd like to share 5 financial books that have given me a new outlook on life and money. Number 5. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Within something was eating me alive it wasn't a parasite either. It was just a thought something to do with work, life, income, prosperity, and freedom but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. It had been weighing on me for months so I couldn't put it into words. Then there was Robert Kiyosaki's rich dad, poor dad finally, I had words for the internal monologue that was going on in my head every second of my life. I was finally able to put my abstract thoughts about money into words, and it completely changed my life rich dad, poor dad is difficult, to define because it means so many different things to so many different people. But the gist of it is this the poor work for their money while the wealthy work for their money. It's more of an attitude book than anything else, but there are enough stories and examples to keep you interested it's no surprise. That this is the most frequently recommended book by guests on the Bigger Pockets podcast, which I co-host each week. In every field of life Kiyosaki taught me to avoid thinking, it can't be done and instead inquire how can it be done. He set me on a path that led me to purchase my first rental property at the age of 27, followed by dozens of other investment properties that allowed me to escape the rat race. For the first time I realized that wealth is not a product of chance, but rather of deliberate action. Number 4. The Wealthy Barber by David Chilton. I enjoyed this book for many of the same reasons, that I enjoyed The Richest Man in Babylon it was full of valuable knowledge and advice bundled up in an easy to read plot. I could relate to the characters and their concerns and I gained a lot of knowledge from it. Although the original edition is no longer available Chilton's most recent book, the Wealthy Barber Returns is an excellent financial book that contains a wealth of useful knowledge as well as new perspectives and I highly recommend it. Number 3. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker. This financial book completely changed the way I think about money and wealth and it set me on a new road to financial independence. It not only introduced me to the principles of money psychology and passive income sources, but it also prompted a lot of additional reading and aha moments, which have inspired many of my retire happy posts. Number 2. The One Thing. Between managing my rental assets flipping homes, working at bigger pockets and working on side projects I was putting in 100 hours a week. And I was getting tired of it. That's when the last book grabbed my shoulders and gave me a nice hard shake. Gary Keller and Jay Papperson's book The One Thing is a simple but insightful book that has helped me concentrate on making the main thing the main thing in all aspects of my life. What is the one thing you can do that will make anything else simpler or unnecessary? Asks the one thing. I'm having more time in my day to work quietly taking less work home with me at night, answering less emails and generating more revenue per month by posing this question a dozen times a day it's almost magical. Are you ready to let go of your straight line life and let books transform you? If so I strongly advise you to begin with these 5 books. Number 1. Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. While working for an expedited courier company in Windsor on, I spent 2 years and 500,000 kilometers driving between Canada and the United States. I soon realized that you can only listen to so much top 40 music until your brain melts so I turned to a mix of audiobooks, NPR and talk radio. I was hooked the first time I heard the Dave Ramsey show Dave's no-nonsense advice and dedication to helping people overcome their debt mountains and create financial stability inspired me. This book is one of my favorites because it is a step-by-step -step guide to taking control of your financial well-being and giving your money a makeover that really works. I've had great success using his debt snowball technique with customers and I've received some incredible testimonials from others who have done the same. 
One of my friends always tells me that he'd rather know something I don't know than know everything I do, because there's so much more to learn than any one person's brain can possibly carry. I consider myself extremely lucky to live in a world where so many people are willing to share their knowledge and experiences through books online tools and live events, and I'm constantly on the lookout for new information and ideas that can assist me in achieving my own goals as well as assisting others in achieving theirs. If you have any recommendations for financial books or services that have influenced your path please share them with me. What do you think of our list? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want more videos from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.